Right, so um, just uh, finishing off the back of this, uh, ready to flip it over. I put a few little uh, grooves in here. I've um, seen a few people do that, um, so I thought I'd give that a go, make it a little bit more of a pattern. Um, this is fantastic what, what this is. Again, this is another piece of walnut. Um, and watch this, I don't know if you can see this or not, but just watch when I turn this into the, uh, into the light. I don't know if you can see that. Well, not. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. And you see the. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. Hopefully, you can. When I move the light, um, turn this into the light or not. I don't know if the light's in the right place for you to see it. But um, from what I'm seeing here, that just looks absolutely amazing. Um, there it is again. Look. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a fairly um, shallow bowl because um, of the size of it. Um, there's several ways to obviously hollow out a, a bowl, um, but what I like to do, um, some, well, not all the time, sometimes with this bowl, I'm going to um, use the uh, forstner bit to take out some of the middle, um, and then we will get the rest out with probably uh, one of the carbide um, cutters. So. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with this bowl yet, but um, I'll decide that in a minute. So it had a bit of a hiccup um, with the bowl uh, coming off of the lathe. So I'm going to show that to you now. And um, this is basically just to show you really how dangerous uh, this can be sometimes, which is why you should always make sure you've got a mask on, um, you know, and a proper mask, you know, proper visor. I mean, I wear uh, this large thing here. Um, which is that respirator on it as well, which is really good. Um, so it just sort of goes to show really how dangerous it can be. I mean, it was fairly secure on there, but um, obviously I applied a bit too much pressure um, and, and you saw the thing fly off. So uh, there's um, something to just be wary about. We don't want any injuries when uh, anyone's trying this out, uh, if you're a new turner or anything like that. So um, just be careful, always stand to the side um, when you're um, when you've got the wood mounted to the lathe, just always um, be on the safe side, uh, and, and which is you know to the side of the work. Because um, if I'd have been in front of that, although I had got a mask on, it would have been pretty much of a shock to have that um, smack me in the face. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I am going to place small pieces of this into this bowl. Well, this is what my idea is so far. I don't even know if it's going to work, but I think so. I've got an idea of using some small pieces of wood, this wood here, which I think is um, actually, I don't know, <laughs> Coca Bola, is it? Possibly Coca Bola wood. I'm not 100% sure. Um, or might be ebony actually. Um, yeah, it might be ebony. Um, and some resin, but resin mixed with some gold dust. Now, this is the gold dust that I've got. So I thought I'd mix some of this with some resin, put some of these pieces of wood inside it as well, and see how that turns out. So, just need to make a couple of these first. So, there we go. Okay, so what I'm doing here now is, um, so I'm just cutting a piece of this um, uh, this wood up. I'm pretty sure it is um, ebony. If I'm not, please correct me. Um, it's ebony or coca bola, one of the two. So I'm cutting little pieces here, and I've just basically drilled a little hole in the top of the the bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue uh, this in here, not like this, but I'm just going to chop off a little piece here. So it just leaves a little bit over the um, over the rim, and then I'm going to fill the rest of this with um, this resin, but mixed with some gold dust. I think this is going to come out quite nice, actually. And this this stuff will really shine up well. Um, this is beautiful. This one when it comes up. Um, and looking at the um, uh, the the resin with the um, mix in it, it, that that comes out really nice as well. So it's a shallow bowl. But I think, you know, just to make it a little bit funky, we'll put this in it. So I'm going to put one here. Um, I'm going to put another one here, another one here, another one here. I may well put a few more in, dotted around. But I'm just going to measure those out now. Um, and I'm just going to just I'm going to super glue these in. Well, not super glue them, but wood glue them in. Otherwise, um, they're not going to stay there when I put the resin around it. So I'll get all those in there now. And uh, we'll see where we go. Okay. So... I've kind of measured round, um, I say kind of, but you know, best I could do, um, and drilled little holes everywhere to fit these in, which I'm now going to do. Okay, so there we go. So little pieces of um, ebony, um, basically just got these down to a small size. Um, made a few mistakes over here. Uh, and uh, so these are now sort of jammed in there I'm going to glue them as well but they're all jammed in and then what we need to do now is we're going to fill this gap here with the resin let that set and then we'll come back and uh, once it's all set and see what we can do okay so got my bowl these are all glued in uh, got my resin uh, and then I'm going to mix it with this gold um, dust see if we can uh, make a nice effect from the resin so I'm just going to mix that now and then I'm going to get pouring that in there you can see the sort of effects that it makes in here which is quite nice so hopefully we'll see a bit of that in the bowl and uh, it will look you know quite funky really wouldn't it it's quite nice didn't really need a lot of the powder this is the powder I got this off of eBay um, so I didn't really need a lot of that, and it's only tiny this um, bowl, so I've only got to fill it to the rim there, so I'm just going to keep mixing this and then I'm going to pour it in into the into the gaps. Okay, so I'm just pouring a little bit of this in here, so not too much, I'm just uh, trying to get it all round. See that going in. Hope 
hopefully I'll have enough, if not I have to mix up some more. There we go, so that's, um, I'll put that all in, I did have enough, so that's quite good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swish this about a little bit. Try and make a few little swirly effects. Okay, everyone, this has now uh, been left overnight to set. So this resin with all the mixed um, uh, sort of dust in there is, is settled in there. It looks really nice, actually. I'm hoping that this is going to come out quite well. We've got the little dowels in here. Uh, so now I'm going to just try and get rid of these, chop these off. Uh, this one's a bit bit high, um, but um, I should be able to get that down. Or oh, actually, I might. I might cut that off actually before I start going. It's a bit of a big one that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, so we've got uh, this far, um, and it's, it's coming up really nice, um, but we've had a bit of a catch uh, at the beginning, and I've been trying to get rid of it by going deeper and deeper and just getting rid of more of this, but it's not happening. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, I've got the light there, there we go. So we've got this catch that happened earlier on. Um, and I'm pretty stuffed really, I can't go much further down because I'm going to end up having to well I've no resin left in it so my only kind of thought about what I can do with this is put a bit of Milliput's putty resin black in and around here it's not going to be perfect because obviously these are quite nice you can see how they're sort of perfect circles Whereas this one's not going to be, but it's going to be better than that anyway. And that's the only thing I have to think about doing. So um, I'm going to do that and then we'll have to come back to this tomorrow morning now to finish this. Yet another day of waiting. Okay guys, so I'm back um, with this bowl, uh, which I've basically um, put some putty resin in to fix the gash that got taken out of it. Um, so there it is. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to fix... Um, the issue and then we can just finish it off um, and then uh, hopefully we're done um, so we'll get on with that now Um, there it is, I'll put some pictures up at the end. Um, sort of fairly shallow kind of bowl, but yeah, it looks alright really. Um, I mean, I'm fairly pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Um, I've got some other ideas that I'm going to be doing soon, so, um, <clears throat> so I'll get that up. But um, yeah, there we go. Thanks.